Recently, the U.S. startup Natron Energy announced the production of its first commercial-scale sodium-ion batteries in the United States by launching its plan in Holland, Michigan. Ironically, the new plan is a repurposed former lithium-ion battery manufacturing facility. Natron hopes this upgrade will produce new sodium-ion batteries with an annual capacity of 600 megawatts. Meanwhile, battery giant Tesla is also entering the field with its own sodium-ion battery technology, predicting a surge in demand for energy storage in 24-7 power at data centers across the US, similar to the growth scene in AI. How is Elon producing new sodium-ion batteries to give Tesla's electric vehicles an edge? How will Tesla's sodium-ion batteries reshape the automotive industry? Nowadays, sodium-ion batteries are increasingly being sold in the market, and some cars have been launched using them. We can say that 2024 is indeed the year of sodium-ion batteries. We will see more electric vehicles announced in the coming year that utilize this chemistry, along with much news and rumors about the technology in general. One of the significant advantages of sodium batteries is their lower cost. Sodium-ion cells produced on a large scale can be up to 20% to 30% cheaper than lithium-iron phosphate LFP, batteries, a prevailing stationary storage technology, mainly due to abundant sodium availability and low extraction and refining costs. Sodium-ion batteries can use aluminum as an anode collector instead of copper used in lithium-ion, which further reduces costs and supply chain risks. However, these savings still have potential before sodium-ion batteries can challenge existing lead acid in lithium-iron phosphate batteries. Companies in the industry will need to reduce technology costs by improving technical efficiency, establishing supply chains, and achieving economies of scale. Sodium ions are unlikely to replace lithium ions in high-performance applications but will instead be used for stationary storage in ultra-small electric vehicles, fitting well within Tesla's existing vehicle lineup which is also Elon Musk's main goal for their development and mass production. SNP Global Analysts expect lithium-ion to capture 80% of the battery market by 2030, with 90% of those devices based on LFP. Sodium-ion batteries could account for 10% of the market. Why is this considered the right choice for Tesla at the current time? Tesla researchers have been studying sodium ions since the mid-20th century, and recent developments include improvements in storage capacity and device lifespan, as well as new positive and negative electrode materials. Sodium ions are bulkier than lithium ions, so sodium ion cells have lower voltage and lower energy density by weight and volume. The energy density by weight of sodium ions currently ranges from 130 WH slash kg to 160 WH slash kg, but it's expected to reach 200 WH slash kg in the future, higher than the theoretical limit for LFP devices. However, in terms of energy density, sodium ion batteries can have a power density of 1 kW per kilogram, higher than the 340 W slash kg to 420 W slash kg of nickel manganese cobalt, NMC, and 175 W slash kg to 425 W slash kg of LFP. While the lifespan of sodium ion devices ranges from 100 to 1000 cycles, with 80% power retention over 6000 cycles depending on the cell's chemical composition, can be comparable to lithium ion devices. Currently, there is no single chemical that can win in sodium ion batteries. Many R&D efforts are underway to find the perfect positive and negative electrode materials that allow for scaling beyond the lab phase. Additionally, we are informed that white oxide polyanion and layered oxide are candidates for cheaper electrode materials than lithium ions. The first type is also used by CATL, widely available and inexpensive but with relatively low volumetric energy density. If Tesla uses multi-layer oxides, it promises higher energy density but is hindered by capacity degradation over time. Most cell manufacturers planning to use sodium ion battery capacity will use multi-layer oxide electrode technology. In fact, 71% of the sodium ion cell cathode pipes are oxide layers. Similarly, 90.8% of the sodium ion cell anode pipes are oxide layers. The cathode is the primary cost factor for lithium-ion batteries, while the anode is the most expensive component in sodium-ion batteries. Hard carbon is the standard choice for sodium-ion anodes, but its production capacity lags behind that of lithium-ion batteries, leading to higher costs. Recently, hard carbon materials have been synthesized from various precursors such as animal waste, sewage sludge, glucose, xylan, wood, coal, and petroleum derivatives. 
Synthetic graphite, a common anode material for lithium-ion batteries, almost exclusively relies on two precursors, with a supply chain evolving. Hard carbon is more expensive than graphite and is a major obstacle in sodium-ion cell production. Partially offsetting the higher costs, sodium-ion batteries have better thermal tolerance, especially in sub-zero conditions. They are safer than lithium-ion batteries because they can discharge to zero volts, reducing risks during transportation and disposal. Lithium-ion batteries are typically stored at around 30% charge. Sodium-ion batteries have a lower fire risk because their electrolyte has a higher flashpoint, the minimum temperature at which a chemical can vaporize to form an ignitable mixture with air. With both types of electrolyte having similar structures and operating principles, sodium-ion batteries can often be integrated into lithium-ion manufacturing lines and equipment. The relatively low cost of sodium-ion batteries also opens up opportunities for rapid deployment in community electric vehicles, second cars, and other short-range applications that do not necessarily require fast, long-range, expensive charging. Both sodium-ion and lithium-ion batteries are rechargeable, but there are significant differences between them. One clear advantage of sodium-ion batteries is fast charging. Sodium-ion batteries can take only 5 to 15 minutes to fully charge, while lithium-ion batteries require 2 to 8 hours. For example, a natron sodium-ion battery can charge up to 90% in one minute, whereas a 5000 mAh lithium-ion smartphone battery typically takes about 2 to 3 hours to charge fully. This demonstrates that sodium-ion batteries are an attractive choice for applications requiring fast charging times, providing superior convenience for users. Secondly, the resistance of sodium-ion batteries is also a strength, as they are less prone to catching fire, unlike lithium-ion batteries, which are highly flammable. This is an important factor for safety, especially in industrial and consumer applications. In terms of deep discharge cycles, sodium-ion batteries once again have the upper hand, with the ability to withstand up to 50,000 cycles compared to just 3,500 cycles for lithium-ion batteries. This indicates that sodium-ion batteries have higher durability and longer lifespan, reducing the frequency of battery replacements. Operating temperature is also a significant point of difference. Sodium-ion batteries can operate in a temperature range from minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, much wider than the range of 59 degrees Fahrenheit to 104 degrees Fahrenheit for lithium-ion batteries. The ability to operate in a wide temperature range makes sodium-ion batteries suitable for more challenging environments. However, in terms of total energy per unit, lithium-ion batteries outperform with 40WH-KG compared to just 10WH-KG for Tesla's sodium-ion batteries. This means that lithium-ion batteries can store more energy in the same mass, making them ideal for high-energy density applications such as mobile phones and electric vehicles. Cooling time is another advantage of sodium-ion batteries, as they do not require cooling time after charging or discharging, whereas lithium-ion batteries need to be cooled to maintain performance and safety. This not only increases efficiency but also reduces the complexity and costs associated with cooling systems. Furthermore, in terms of cost-effectiveness, sodium-ion batteries also have an advantage as they are significantly cheaper. Natron sodium-ion batteries are priced at a third of the equivalent lithium-ion batteries, partly due to the abundant and easily extractable sodium materials compared to lithium. The environmental impact of sodium-ion batteries is also more favorable. Sodium-ion batteries are safer, with fewer fire and explosion risks, and use less toxic materials such as aluminum instead of cobalt. The manufacturing process of sodium-ion batteries is less polluting. In contrast, lithium-ion batteries have higher fire and explosion risks, use hazardous materials such as cobalt and nickel, and the lithium mining and processing process causes environmental pollution. However, the energy density of sodium-ion batteries is lower than that of lithium-ion batteries, resulting in smaller battery capacity, shorter usage time, and bulkier, heavier batteries. Lithium-ion batteries, on the other hand, have higher energy density, providing a larger battery capacity, longer usage time, and compact, lightweight designs. Finally, the application range of sodium-ion batteries is expanding, including consumer electronics and electric vehicles. Lithium-ion batteries are currently widely used in consumer electronics, electric vehicles, office storage, medical devices, and power tools, demonstrating their advantage in application diversity. However, sodium-ion batteries are catching up. 
How will the U.S. develop its production capabilities for lithium-free sodium-ion batteries? Initially, many were skeptical when sodium-ion batteries, which don't contain lithium, moved out of the laboratory and into production in the United States. Founded in 2013, Natron is one of the pioneers in this new wave of sodium-ion research and innovation. While most sodium-ion designs remain in the laboratory, Natron has initiated one of the first large-scale production operations globally. The company officially launched production earlier this week with a ribbon-cutting ceremony at its manufacturing facility in Holland, Michigan, marking the first commercial-scale sodium-ion battery production in the U.S. Natron's batteries charge and discharge 10 times faster than lithium-ion batteries, making them a top contender for the demands of energy backup storage. Their estimated lifespan of 50,000 cycles also supports this application. The company has rated its sodium-ion batteries at 70 watt-hours per kilogram, which is near the lower end of the sodium-ion energy density scale. This aligns well with the company's business plan focused solely on stationary applications, as sodium-ion batteries pursued for mobile use have more than twice the energy density. The sodium-ion projects aim to scale up the production of Natron's Energy Prussian Blue Electrode sodium-ion batteries from 30 to 18,000 trays per year, de-risking the supply chain and product entirely through continuous manufacturing and sales over six months. The company also noted that its 8-kilowatt 50-volt battery trays are primarily designed for managing peak loads of data centers and providing emergency backup power. However, emerging markets such as EV fast charging stations and grid-scale storage are also targets. Natron's trays offer data center operators twice the energy density and 10 times the lifespan of existing products, along with superior safety performance. Meanwhile, CATL introduced a 160 watt-hour per kilogram sodium-ion battery in 2021 and plans to increase that energy to over 200 watt-hours per kilogram to better meet the needs of electric vehicles and is developing this technology further. The company plans for the Holland facility to ramp up production to 600 megawatts annually at full capacity, serving as a model for future gig-scale facilities. In the two years since we last reviewed Natron's plans, AI has increasingly consumed more energy, so it's no surprise that the company's initial target is AI data storage centers, where fast cycling batteries can become an essential energy management tool. Natron plans to begin its first deliveries in June. In the US, the Department of Energy has been supporting sodium-based energy storage innovators. Last October, ARPAE awarded $3,198,185 to Massachusetts-based 24M Technologies to develop new sodium-ion batteries specifically for electric vehicles. Many companies, including Tesla, are turning towards sodium batteries not only because sodium is 500 to 1,000 times more abundant than lithium on Earth but also because sourcing it doesn't require the same type of mining that scars the Earth. Beyond the sodium-lithium comparison, these batteries are made entirely from readily available commodity materials, including aluminum, iron, and manganese. Furthermore, the raw materials for the sodium-ion chemistry used by companies like Natron can be sourced through a reliable domestic supply chain based in the United States without geopolitical disruptions. The same cannot be said for conventional lithium-ion materials like cobalt and nickel. Although the energy density of sodium-ion batteries lags behind lithium-ion, their advantages, such as faster cycling, longer lifespan, and safer end-use without fire risks, make sodium-ion an attractive alternative, particularly for stationary applications like data centers and backup storage for EV chargers. How does the ultra-fast charging sodium-ion battery improve the charging time for electric vehicles? This raises another topic for comparison between sodium-ion batteries and other key chemical compounds used in electric vehicles, lithium-ion and LFP. Sodium-ion will join them to create what can be called the big three in electric vehicle battery chemistry. There are some concerns about the energy density of sodium-ion batteries, which is only half the weight of NCA cells. In the electric vehicle sector, this is a trend the industry will likely move towards. Lithium-ion NCA is for high-performance models and heavy-duty vehicles where maximum energy density, range, and charging characteristics are needed. LFP is for mid-range technical specifications, like Tesla's RWD Model 3, balancing cost, energy density, and charging characteristics while having the longest lifespan. The use of LFP began with the Model 3 and has since been widely adopted in other vehicles across the North American electric vehicle market. 
As for sodium ion batteries, they'll likely dominate the low end electric vehicle market and budget technical specifications due to their cheapest dollar per kilowatt hour cost, especially as economies of scale start to kick in. Their improved cold weather performance is also a significant advantage, as LFP and NCA maintain 50% capacity at minus 30 degrees Celsius, while sodium ion retains 80%. This makes them suitable for low-end electric vehicles, where they'll be most affected by losses at cold temperatures. They also have a good lifespan similar to NMC and favorable charging characteristics. There is another interesting technology on the horizon, solid-state batteries, but large-scale commercialization is still a few years away. In the short term, sodium-ion technology is expected to unfold significantly. Currently, for a 12-cell sodium-ion pack, 32140, each pack has a 31-hour total capacity, and the 12S1P pack has 3.74 watt-hours. Researchers have reported that this new hybrid battery surpasses the energy density of commercial lithium-ion batteries and exhibits characteristics of supercapacitor energy density. Specifically, the energy density is 247 watt-hours per kilogram, and the fast rechargeable energy density is 34,748 watts per kilogram, surpassing the reactions of batteries by over 100 times. It also demonstrates cycle stability with around 100% efficiency over 5,000 charge-discharge cycles, predicting widespread applications for Tesla's new technology from electric cars to smart electronics and aerospace technology. Researchers have developed Tesla's new generation sodium-ion battery with ultra-fast charging capability, opening up huge potential for electronic devices and electric vehicles. The secret behind this breakthrough lies in the hybrid materials approach, combining two main components for the positive electrode using conventional positive electrode materials from traditional batteries to ensure sodium ion storage efficiency. For the negative electrode, researchers have combined materials used in supercapacitors, known for their ability to store and release energy extremely quickly. However, the limitation of supercapacitors is low energy density. Using negative electrode materials from supercapacitors brings great benefits to the new sodium ion battery. Additionally, the ultra-fast charging speed is due to the ability to accept large sodium ion currents quickly. The new sodium ion battery can be fully charged in just a few minutes or even seconds, compared to hours for traditional lithium ion batteries. Tesla is expected to develop and manufacture sodium ion batteries next year, promising significant improvements for the electric vehicle market. With advantages in fast charging and high efficiency, Tesla's sodium ion batteries could help the company dominate the electric vehicle market. This not only strengthens Tesla's competitiveness but also contributes to the global proliferation of electric vehicles, ushering in a new era for the automotive industry.